STEAM school is teaching a whole new paradigm about how to come up with solutions. If we can connect students to makerspaces, we are going to go from the old paradigm of learn by rote, you know, learn through theory, subjects like, you know, science, technology, engineering, to actually learn by doing. They need to kind of touch and feel things. That's how they learn. So it's a nice way now for India to pioneer a whole new education paradigm where we actually we learn by doing. A lot of people tend to build solutions without really knowing where it fits. But if you really understand a core pain point that someone has, that's what drives the design to innovate something. The next revolution in India has to be with hardware startups. And hardware startups, as you know, are not easy to set up because you don't have access you know, to the kind of uh, capability to set up a hardware company. But now with Makerspaces, you have access to all the tools you know, to quickly go from idea, not just to prototype, but actually from idea to literally to product. The team school is bringing a lot of young talents. They are need to address the needs of the community or the communities. The fact that you've been able to put such a framework in such a little amount of time, you're the perfect emblemation or summary of Bonjour India. For the first edition last year, we had 36 participants, six teams of six people. This year, we have more than 100 participants. We have uh, around 15 French participants as well, so it's really an Indo-French event. And the idea, uh, by bringing students to the STEAM school, is to expose them to another context in which they will find the same problems they may have been asked to solve in France during their studies, but the solutions may be completely different. And this puts back into question a lot of things that they may have taken for granted during their studies. Issues here are so big, you just cannot tackle them on your own. So those connections, the coalitions of the willing, like meeting people that have different skills that you can add to yours that actually bring about the change together, that's what I see happening through these things. You need to become what I call expert of the problem. If you're in a community, there are so many problems. The STEAM school idea is to actually embed the innovator in the context of where the end users you know, reside. So they get exposed to it uh, in such a visceral way that they have to develop this kind of empathy and compassion to the extent where you know, it becomes their own problem. Makerspaces are wonderful places where you can go from idea to prototype very quickly. Undergrads, uh, high schoolers, they usually take courses, exam in a very classical way and they do not contribute to society during their studies. They will contribute when they will have a job. So by contributing directly from the beginning and feeling that they can explore and they can do things and they can provide themselves ideas and design a new solution, that as a journey is already fantastic. The power of teaching someone a skill is much higher than doing something for them. And when we give classes, it's like, not that they want to learn from the mentor or facilitator, they also learn from each other. So this is beautiful. And this is peer-to-peer -peer learning, and this is not going to stop here. We have 100 students with whom we are sharing information with, and these 100, I can guarantee you, will go and share with another 100, and those 100 with another 1,000. And this learning is something that we are looking forward Currently what we are working on is flywheel. Flywheel is a device that converts inertia into energy. The energy that an average person produces by cycling is around 2 watts per minute. So for a person to generate 150 watts, you have to cycle for 75 minutes a day. Through this flywheel, that effort will become much less. And what we are trying to do is 
makes that effort come down to 15 to 20 minutes. So just by cycling for 15 to 20 minutes, a person can have electricity for the whole day for us. So uh, in fact, it's a completely uh, foldable toilet that you can unfold and it will be come like that. And it allows you to have privacy yeah. and to go to the restroom basically into a bag that is biodegradable. Um, so once you go, it snaps up, it's sealed, and based on the infographic, you'll know where not to put it and where not to use the restroom. Yeah, they'll still have freedom and it's all sustainable. People who can't necessarily talk as people who are disabled, it's us who don't have the ability to understand them. So how can we augment our understanding and sort of overcome our disability of not being able to understand them through the version of this app? When you come to the WhatsApp screen, this is your chat screen. Uh, say you press on camera, you go to the next screen, which is this, and now you can see the person with the cannot speak. What you do is you click on the sign up button here and then you come to this screen where while image processing the gestures of the person is getting converted into text. So for example right now the person is saying nice to meet you. <laughs> this has been such a, a very mind-opening experience for me to see this cross-generational gap and that I may want to take that back and see if we can do a similar event back in France where we can mix the ages and the portfolios, the profiles of the, the people who attend and you know make it a lot more sort of a transgenerational uh, learning experience. The results of STEAM School 2 is the realization that, wow, you know, India is, is a miracle in some, in some respects.